My name is Sam Ward. I was gloriously saved and baptized at the age of seven in a small Baptist church in Forsan, Texas. In March of 2010, I was sent to Croatia through Trinity Baptist Church of Arlington, Texas to assist in the ministry of Brother Johnny Leslie. Croatia is a small country in Central Europe with a population of approximately 4 million people. It is one of the most beautiful countries on earth. There are beautiful old castles, forests, and lakes, a world-famous coastline along the Adriatic Sea, and even a Roman Colosseum. Croatia was one of the six countries making up the old communist Yugoslavia. Croatia declared its independence in 1991, and after four brutal years of war with Serbia, Croatia won its independence and became the free country that it is today. In spite of its great beauty and the freedoms that it enjoys, Croatia has a very serious problem. It is a nation whose people walk in spiritual darkness, dominated by the false religion of the Catholic Church. Catholic steeples are everywhere, reminding the people who they serve. Idols can be seen on many street corners, along the highways, and even among the cornfields, making certain the people never forget who their master really is. It is estimated that 95% or more of the Croatian people are lost and on their way to an eternal burning hell. Croatia is starved for the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I am overjoyed to have the opportunity to declare the name of Jesus to the Croatian people. The Lord moving in a miraculous way to place me in Croatia was something I never expected. For many years I dreamed of following my Savior wherever He might lead to declare His name among the lost. But I lived with chronic, crippling illness, and I thought my dream would never be fulfilled. However, by 2005, I received the help I badly needed to combat my chronic illness. Then I met Brother Johnny Leslie while he was on furlough in Texas. My heart broke when he mentioned being the only independent Baptist missionary in the country at that time. Though I had never traveled outside the United States and had no finances to make such a trip, for some reason I blurted out that I would visit Croatia to go soul winning with him. Miraculously, the Lord provided the funds for airfare through a co-worker that I mentioned it to over lunch one day. So in 2006, I found myself on the streets of Croatia, soul winning with Brother Johnny Leslie. The Lord greatly blessed our soul winning effort during that visit, and I returned home rejoicing, determined to do what I could for missions in Croatia. I scheduled another soul winning trip for 2008. Again, the Lord provided the funds, and again, the Lord greatly blessed our soul winning efforts. I scheduled another trip for 2009. However, the Lord had greater plans for me. Shortly before the third trip in October of 2009, my secular employer of 25 years came to me and said, We know that your heart is in Croatia. If you would like to go and stay, we would like to support you for two years to help you get started. I immediately knew this was the will of God. The third trip in 2009 was another great blessing, but knowing I would soon return for good made it even better. After returning to the U.S., I arranged for the sale of my home, spent a little time with my parents, gave away what I could not carry, packed my bags, and left for Croatia in March of 2010. I praise the Lord for the opportunity He has given to me, and it is my joy and honor to give my life to Him. God is serious when He says in His Word, Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. About the ministries here in Croatia, I have the opportunity to lead the singing in our church in Varazdan, and it is a great blessing to me. I am not a professional singer, but I am someone who loves to sing the hymns. Here is a sample of one of our favorites, Oh, Say But I'm Glad.
preaching the Word of God is an honor and privilege not to be taken lightly, and I thank the Lord for the many times I've been able to preach in Croatia, both in the church and on the street. Of course, we go soul winning in Croatia. We hand out thousands of gospel tracts, stuffed mailboxes, and send out New Testaments all around the country. Ministering to the children in the gypsy village of Kushinets is something that's very near and dear to the hearts of all of us. The gypsy population of Croatia is plagued by rampant alcoholism and drug use. Most of the gypsy people get a monthly support check from the government, but sadly it is often squandered on obtaining another fix. After the money is gone, they often resort to petty theft to support their drug habit. It's a very sad existence to be sure. It is our hope and prayer that as we minister to the children of Kushinets, that God will get a hold of their hearts, save their precious souls, and change the direction of their lives and the lives of those in their village for all eternity. I continued my roadside gospel sign ministry in Croatia. I'm sure it was an unusual sight to the Croatian people. And for the first couple of years, it was a great curiosity to the local police. Many people have received a gospel message during their rush hour commute that they might not otherwise have received any other way. Bible translation is another big project for us here in Croatia. When I arrived in 2010, Brother Johnny and his group had already translated the New Testament from the King James Bible. Some work had been done on the Old Testament, but none of the books were yet complete. I've had the privilege of working with Brother Johnny and Pastor Telebar to help with the translation of the Old Testament all the way from Genesis to Malachi. By September of 2018, the Croatian people will have a complete translation of the King James Bible in their hands. Imagine what God might do with the Croatian people when they actually get their hands on an accurate copy of the Word of God. I am so blessed to be part of this important project. Truly a one in a million opportunity that only God could give. It is my dream come true to serve the Lord in Croatia, and I look forward to the day when I stand in heaven and look around to see a multitude of Croatians praising the Lord with me. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day witnessing. Thank you so much.